Well, it's a night to rival the Oscars for any teenager. The annual school ball. Both boys and girls can spend thousands of dollars on just one night. One Perth expert urges parents to be careful, asking how much is too much. If you're a parent of a girl, you'd almost shudder at the impact it's going to have on your bank account. It's like a mini wedding, it's so huge. What started out as a traditional end of year get together is now glitz and glamour to the max. High school balls rival weddings with a price tag to match. It's unlike anything we've ever seen. Every year it gets bigger and better. Dana Mathers owns the popular dress shop Strange Love in the city. She says girls are booking their gowns years before their ball. It's all about being fabulous. They want to look awesome, stunning, amazing. And these are photos that they're going to have for the rest of their lives. You see it in the movies, like all the girls going to their proms and their dresses, and you just like want to be like a movie star, so that's how these make you feel. Annabelle Stewart paid nearly $1,000 for a dress two years ago. Probably around $700 would be the average. Um, but, you know, there are girls that spend a lot more than that, and there are also girls that don't, don't think it's necessary to spend that much. So what would the total cost be? How much money are we talking for a whole ball? Over a thousand. Over a thousand. Yeah. Easily a thousand? Yeah. yeah. Probably, yeah. Fifteen hundred dollars? Yeah. yeah. I'd say so. Kristen Pelk's parents spent what some families spend on electricity um, for a whole down. year. My dress cost 800 I got the nails, they were expensive, the bag, the jewellery, the hair and the makeup came to about 200 Here's the breakdown, ready or not. Dress 800 nails, bag and ring worth $120, hair, makeup and fake tan $250, shoes $100, limo and ticket $160. Grand total $1,430 for one night. Luckily, my parents paid for it. But for the families who can't afford these amazing costs... When it becomes a night for some of great torture. UWA's Dr Martin Forsey has studied school balls. The really successful kids, the beautiful people, tend to be the ones that shine on that night. And the kids who are on the fringes of that group, in many instances, what it does is magnifies their lack of success, social success in that group. But St Stephen's School Principal Des Mitchell says in his 13 years that's never been the case. They choose to include each other, regardless of uh, their past uh, performance at a social level, um, regardless of the group they're in. This night is a night for everyone. But there's no denying the competition to stand out or just fit in. Because everyone else is going out and getting their makeup and their hair booked and everything, so you feel pressure that you should do it, go get it done. I got my hair done this morning and it cost me six to five dollars. Overrated? I think it's a bit overrated. I think probably some girls lost up to ten kilos. That's up to like just you know, for the ball. Just the ball. So they can fit into their dress. Mm-hmm. Goodness. <laughs> so they take it pretty seriously. Yeah. Do you think it's the parents' fault for forking out all this money for the ball? Whilst I wouldn't want to talk about it being the fault of people, because you're immersed in a culture of great affluence and, of course, of this um, competitive individualism, so that you do want your child to shine like no other. I just think that the dresses are so beautiful that, as a mum, you just couldn't fail to be charmed by them and to let her have the opportunity to, to dress in this way. Although Nuala Welsh says she'll struggle to afford this dress, it's a price she's willing to pay to see her daughter shine. They are one-off dresses for a one-off occasion, so I think it's worth scraping the pennies together to get it. I think that you're still going to have the girls that do want to spend, you know, ridiculous amounts of money to stand out from, um, you know, other people, and I don't think that's really ever going to change. Belinda Wilkinson there.